Assalamualaikum, I am Mazna Mazlan, TH1 at 047 from group 4 and today we will be presenting the acoustic logging tools. Acoustic logging is an approach for measuring the velocity of sound propagation in geological structures using a computer consisting of a transmitter, receiver arrays and accompanying circuitry. Acoustic logging tools have been developed to calculate one or more acoustic wave properties in order to collect data on subsurface structures and it is mainly used to provide information to support and calibrate seismic data and to derive the porosity of a formation. Assalamualaikum, my name is Hussein bin Abdul Rahim, ID TH1 at 038. So I will be talking about three parts in this presentation, which is acoustic wave propagation, the basic sonic tools, and also the borehole compensation. So what is acoustic wave propagation? It is the, the acoustic waves were recorded by the sonic logging tool, and it is depends depending on the energy energy sources and also the path that have been traveled and the properties of the borehole and the formation as well in wireline logging it consists of two primary types of sources which is the monopole and dipole the monopole transmitter emits the energy equally to every direction away from the center for dipole transmitter it only emits energy in a preferred location so the resulting in 2d system spherical wave fronts become circles and propagate in one plane in a 3d world the wave fronts propagation is everywhere outward from the source and surround the borehole symmetrically so the basic sonic tools basic sonic tools usually known as also known as the sonic logging tools are used in the process of wave propagation the principal work of the sonic logging tools are such as emit a sound pulse every second then the array of the receiver detects the pulse a few feet from the transmitter the desired travel time is based on the difference in time elapsed between the arrival of the sound and the receivers so next is for the borehole compensation borehole compensation is to offset spurious changes largely in reading which is caused by variations in borehole size and sun sun detail so these borehole compensations refers to a process in a logging tool where there is an upgoing and downgoing arrangement of transducers so the technique is applied for measurements that rely on propagation of a wave such as sonic propagation resistivity and electromagnetic propagation measurement the propagation logs are depending on the difference in properties of the wave at two receivers if the tool is tilted or if there is a cave opposite one of the receivers the borehole will influ influence this difference thank you that's all for me assalamualaikum my name is Amir Hazid bin Ibhari. My ID number is TH18043. So today I will talk about the comparison between sonic log, density log and neutral log. First of all, the, differ the differences between these three is the source. The sonic log uses sound or wavelength or frequency. So the destiny log uses gamma ray while the neutron log as its name called, it uses neutron, neutron, neutron. So, the principle of sonic log is to measure the speed of the sound through the formation. So, if the there's a porosity in it, it will slow down the sound. So, if we collect back the sound using the sonar detector, we will notice the movement of the wavelength is slow or fast so for the density log the principle or the working principle is the electron reflects by the gamma ray 
to the detector so the, it started with the gamma ray flash then the electron we reflect back so the detector will detect the formation in the formation density in the reservoir so the last method is neutron lock neutral neutron lock using a high energy neutron by emit emit it so the high energy of neutron will slow down if there's a hydrocarbon formation detected so the the more the neutron energy loss the higher the concentration of the hydrocarbon so the differences between measurement while using sonic lock you can measure rock type measure speed measure the speed of sound so when you using density lock you can measure the rock type and the density of the reservoir so if, the lastly if you use the neutron lock you will be able to only to be only measure rock type so. Assalamualaikum my name is Hazik TH18044 and I'll be presenting about the Dipole Sonic tools and its application. The Dipole Shear Sonic Imager, also known as DSI, blends monopole and dipole sonic acquisition capabilities. An electrical impulse at sonic frequencies is applied to the monopole transmitter to facilitate the formation of compression and shear wave propagation. The transmitter is divided into three parts, which are the cartridge and receiver section, the isolation joint, and the transmitter. For its application, it is used in porosity and lithology, uh, which the ratio of compressional to shear wave velocities provides information on porosity and lithology. It also uh, is used in gas hydrates for compressional and shear wave ratios that can also be used to assess the amount of gas hydrates in a sedimentary sequence. Other than that, it is also used in geophysics, petrophysics, and to measure stony wave, also used in sonic imaging with borehole acoustic reflection survey, also known as BARS. Okay, right, right now, I will talk about the mechanical properties determination and the uses. So, what is mechanical properties? So, me mechanical properties is the physical properties of a material is a bit upon the application of force. So, it's simply just like uh, properties of the material in the me mechanical way. So, for example, of the mechanical property are the ductility, modulus of elasticity, tensor strength, elongation, hardness, and fatigue. All these things, we need to we need to know the value, right? So, how do we determine mechanical properties by using mechanical? by using material testing there's there's a lot of material testing out there everyone is for for detecting or to calculate each one of the each one of the properties so the uses of this determination or mechanical property determination is for stability and compatibility of the material for various application and you say so such as you want to know how long the 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 mechanical properties of the substance or the material you need to use the material strength a testing so you can know how long it can be operate and that's a uses of the mechanical property determination <laughs> Some common sonic issues in the boreholes is noise. Many noise spikes occur with the remote detector, which leads to delta T values that are too small, as illustrated in the figure to the right. Next is cycle skipping. This phenomenon is a failure to locate the first wave cycles at the threshold. Uh, next is the mud arrivals. In certain white diameter holes, the delivery of mud may arrive first, which lead to little order in the sound lock response. 
Next, we'll be touching on logging while drilling, which also known as the LWD acoustic tools. The quadrupole by by model acoustic tool, also known as Cubat, uh, provides acoustic velocity measurements while drilling to assess porosity and rock properties. Um, in short, the Cubat sensor delivers accurate acoustic measurements even in higher temperatures. This presentation summarizes the features and functionality of the acoustic logging tools. While seismic and porosity properties have historically been the most commonly used applications for acoustic log data, new and innovative applications in geomechanics and petrophysics have now been made possible by multi-array software and inversion processing method. Interpretation method that integrate acoustic data with core and other log data, such as resistance, nuclear, and MR and borehole images, promote the assessment of fluid saturation and typing while logging condition provide accurate data. Careful preparation is important for all implementation of acoustic recording in order to ensure the efficient collection of the desired data. That's all from us. Thank you.